Good day, YouTube. Is here going? My name is Wolfie West from Office PC World, Lakeside Cottage in Larksport. Now I've got um, three things to unbox for today, so let's start getting getting straight into it. First of all, ugh, we'll just pull out all the items, and then I'll quickly go for them and we'll go from there. Shall we? Okay. Nothing else in the box. Put this aside because it's the main one to unbox. It won't take long to go through the other ones. Um, basically, this one here, we'll do, do a quick zoom on this one. There we go. Zoom up on this product. Should got a fast zoom on it. There we go. As you can see, that there is the Xbox 360 controller for Windows. So I'm going to try to do this one with, say, uh, zoom a bit. I'll try, I'm thinking about doing this one with Battlefield 3. I'm trying to get this one to work together. And um, I'll see how it go with. Um, and I fell through. So, let's have a quick look. What have we got here? There's a little, a little bit of tape there and tape there. Packaging is what I expect for this type of product, but nothing fancy. Um, a lot of Chinese writing on there. They're really. Yeah. Real basic packaging, really. Designed for like a shop window or something like that. Comes with a CD. I must be for the drivers and whatnot. What else we got here? Looks like a little manual that. wouldn't really worry about the manual. Uh, a couple of pages of English, supposed to be manual for that. And that's the Xbox control itself. And I'm going to see how this works with, um, yeah, with uh, Battlefield 3 and other things. More useless information. Okay, so we'll put this aside. Yeah, well, we'll see how we go with it. So it worked, it's pretty, it's pretty cheap, so all the menu, money-wise, I'm not overly wor worried about um, if it works or doesn't work. I hope it does work, but the next thing, this thing's quite heavy. I mean, I needed. A new, well, come on, just zoom in here. I needed a new mouse pad, basically. So, trying to get the light so it doesn't shine off. It's actually not a bad little, it's called Manitor. Manitor, what is it called? Manitor, I think. Zoom out again. Keep it zoomed out, I think. But I'm actually, well, I would have had all the mouse is when you're using the laser on a mouse, it tends to eat holes in your mouse pad and it ends up having slow spots and stuff like that. So let's see if we can get this one unboxed. Now, this one here is supposed to be a metal. Uh, what's it called? Aluminium Gamers Mouse Mat. Now, this one, that's what it's supposed to be. So I'm trying, I'm hoping. Right, it's going to... The box is actually quite... It's surprising, it's actually quite a well-built box. And as you see here, it's got your mat there. 
it's designed for really for razor products, stuff like that. But I'm actually kind of happy with it. Don't know if they needed this cloth bag really to go over it, just for a box. I like how they got the razor symbol there, that looks good, but I don't know, I think this is going a bit overboard the, I think the case, maybe if you're traveling, but uh, other than that, it's basically going overboard. So that comes with another cloth there and your, your mouse pad in here. Which, whoa, now this is, yeah, we've got some sort of, that's, that's nice. Now I'm hoping that doesn't interfere too well with things. Well, we're testing now tonight. And what have we got here? This always, oh, that's probably just more razor stuff in here. Stickers or whatnot. That's the first time I didn't actually break. What are they giving, they're giving you here? But I actually have to admit, yeah, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't recommend use that, but unless you're traveling somewhere. More razor stickers. I've got enough of those. Um, and a cup holder, if you want to call it that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother reading for it all. Uh, yeah, I call that a cup holder. But other than that, leave that into there. That can stay as pointless. I'm not going to bother even trying to take that out. That will just go in the bin. But other than that, that's quite nice. It's sturdy. It'll sit in the desk anywhere you want it. I'm having the mouse that won't leave not fingerprint um, sensitive so because I like take your fingerprint and just doesn't take it like you can rub your hand on it so I'll see how that goes and I hope that goes well with the mouse and so if you are traveling you can put it back into there that down and you've got yourself a carry case for your mouse pad if you are traveling interesting but that's okay. Leave it there. Now, 